In this exploration, I'm documenting a historic abandoned relic long forgotten and left to decay far away from the general public. Founded in 1912, J.N. Adams Memorial Hospital was once a beacon of hope and advanced medical care in the heart of its community. Throughout its prime, the hospital was a hub of medical innovation and community support, hosting numerous successful treatments and life-saving surgeries. The state-of-the-art facilities attracted patients from far and wide, and the hospital became a cornerstone of the local economy and social life. As the decades progressed, the hospital faced numerous challenges. Financial difficulties, coupled with the rapid advancement of medical technology, led to the facility's gradual decline. By the late 1980s, the once bustling hallways grew quiet, and the hospital struggled to keep up with modern medical standards. In 1992, the doors of J.N. Adams Memorial Hospital were closed for the final time. Despite efforts to revitalize the building and repurpose its facilities, it was ultimately abandoned, left to decay, and be forgotten by the outside world. But what really lies behind these abandoned walls? What secrets lie hidden in the shadows, waiting to be discovered? Join me as we step into the darkness and uncover the chilling remains of the former historic hospital. Let's explore. The building we're entering first is the remains of the facility's old power plant, silently decaying a few hundred feet away from the main hospital structures. This particular power station was built back in 1923, more than 10 years after the hospital first opened its doors to the public. It served the facility until 1960, before major renovations and upgrades were completed on the entire complex. New boiler systems were installed, and gas replaced coal as the main fuel for the hospital. Whoa. Someone busted it open. That's so cool. Are they supposed to be open? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, they probably worked on them through here, but... Wow. Turn the light on so we can get a better look. Guys, so we're assuming that this institution was self-sufficient as most of the mental asylums and hospitals were of the time. Uh, we think that these giant um, looking generator things probably burn coal and then come in here. This is probably the turbines. This is really cool. It would feed the power into here for the heat. Then this would release power. Incredible. Look at the cross section. Yeah. That's really cool. So I guess these are like pretty big magnets and then this thing will rotate and these are also magnets and then it generates which power are... from that. Wow. Check this out guys. So I just walked behind this corner and I'm pretty sure that these are heaters, water heaters. Yeah, it says it up there. I wonder if there's anything in the basement. Oh wow. Yeah, there it is. Guys, this is incredible. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what any of this stuff does, but look at it. The pipes are all different colors. It looks like someone came through with an eraser and a marker and just decided to create their own artwork. Wow.
bunch of tools in the corner. This looks like a welding mask. I think it is. Yeah. That's really cool. Wow, dude. Wow. Look how gorgeous this place is. All right, let's go find the dome. This is the ceiling we've been waiting to see the whole time. I've been waiting to see this for months. Oh my God. Alright guys, before we move on to the next part of the hospital, I just wanted to point out something that is below this really cool ceiling. So if you come over here, there's this emblem on the ground. I'm not sure what it means, I'm not sure if someone just drew it on afterwards, but you can see on the ground, underneath that drawn emblem, is an actual emblem that's engraved into the pavement. So this is really cool. This is even cooler. But I just thought I'd point that out to show you guys because this is incredible. Guys, check out the brick on the side of the building. It's just crumbling. The entire thing is made out of this material and it is just shattering. You can see where the walls have already been falling apart for some time. Look how the staircase just collapsed in on itself. We're gonna need a different way to get up, but this place is trash so far. It kind of looks like my local asylum. Really? A little bit. These hallways are just pulverized. This looks cool. This was a little lab, maybe a chemical lab. Look how cool this is. about people or, or getting back to or getting caught like that I think if worst case scenario you fall through the roof in here not through the roof through the floor you just die you don't get caught yeah it's crazy guys everything in this place is just absolutely smashed and then you'll find one little nugget like this copier that's just sitting in the corner This feels more like a hospital, doesn't it? Yeah, see the railings for people? To yeah, to maybe a little more modern. Yeah. Guys, you already know what I'm gonna say before we go any further into this exploration. This is the chair of the episode. We cannot go without the chair for another episode. A couple of episodes ago, we skipped like one or two, I think in a row, I think it was two in a row. And we just hit 27 last time. This is chair number 28. Chair of the episode number 28, the official Luke Explorers chair. Let's go. Guys, come on.
Those look like bird cages, dude. Yeah. This is called the bird cage. Back in the 1930s and 40s, they would build these mental institutions. And they would quite literally roll the patients out here and expose them to sunlight because that's what they thought the cure was. Yeah. And believe it or not, ready for this? There is not one, one record of sunlight ever curing tuberculosis. Guys, so we're still only on the first floor, and off the back, look at this drop. 60, 50, 60 feet maybe? Check out these little doll-like figurines. I think a patient may have made these. They're also in here. It almost looks like a bird bath. A bird bath in the bird cage. But who would have just brought these there if not a patient making them and leaving them? This is definitely an old piece of medical equipment. But it's kind of hard to tell what it was. This whole place is just in ruins, especially this first floor. The floor is really bad right here. Like, if you jump right there. Oh, yeah, you're going like, I'm like making a hole in the ground. Yeah. Doing that. Holy shit. Wow. All right, so there is some medical equipment left here. Yeah, something left. You have any idea what these did? Um. They look like tubs. Yeah, I'm guessing the, to wash them, because, uh, yeah, it says Whirlpool instructions, Whirlpool pool covered, and then uh, this is to, I guess, lower them in. Maybe it's their own personal hot tub. There's an office in here. Bunch of old records. August nineteenth, nineteen fifty three. Check this out. There's a tree on the chair. It's also Christmas season. It's really gross. But if I didn't already choose the chair of the episode, we would have just found it again. Going down that way. Does it collapse? Yeah, I can see. There's a couple of wheelchairs back here. Oh shit. How was that? I stepped on something. <laughs> Whatever the hell this is. Want well, to know what's surprising that we haven't seen yet? What? Hospital beds. Or gurneys. No, we haven't seen anything. None. Yeah. Especially because that's what they wheel the uh, patients out on with tuberculosis. I assume those have been launched. Oh, this room actually has a little bedpan washer. We saw these at the last asylum we went to. So it open up and stick it in there. I will never, ever 
forget now what those did. It's a floor, uh, floor glosser, boss. right? Gloss boss. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we just transported to a different era. It's a nice window pane. It's funny that's not smashed. Yeah. Is it curved in or is yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's uh, is that concave right where it comes in? Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be like. No, it is. Oh, it it is. definitely yeah, is. It is. It's a weird design. Well, hopefully this. Yeah, it's open. Oh, it's rainbow. So this has to be the top one. Ooh. I'm not really sure what's going on in here, but this was an old bathroom. Looks like they took the heating and it's out of each of the top floors. I just stacked them in there. Look how far this drop is, guys. I don't want to hold my camera out that far. I'm afraid I'll literally drop it. I'm not 100% sure about this. This is just a guess. But this is the kitchen right next to the dome with the really nice ceiling. So it must have either been a cafeteria or like a ballroom. Back room to the kitchen. Wow. This room is gorgeous. Looks just like the military hospital we filmed a few weeks back. Beautiful. Guys, we made it on the roof. I've been trying to find a way to get closer to this dome and it's absolutely destroyed and it's not safe to walk on. The uh, condition of this place has definitely deteriorated a lot in the last two to three years, especially since the uh, bigger creators have been posting it like the proper people. Let's see what's up here. This is such a cool view.
you guys think it's safe to climb on this crap? I was able to climb my way up into a, uh, well, semi precarious situation, but I can see the chandeliers and the ceiling dome so much better. Wow. Check out the theater. It's kind of small. The stage is even smaller. But it's beautiful. All right, I doubt it, but let's see if there are cameras back here. Nope. There would have been three pretty large projectors. That would have broadcast right out there. Are you the winner? Oh yeah, 100%. There also would have been cameras or projector in here. And in here. Guys, check this out. This is the fourth floor of the theater. And there's a sterilizer in here. Now, I don't think this is quite an autoclave. I honestly would guess that maybe they put all the uh, uniforms in there to clean them after performances. But it's definitely a weird placing, especially inside of a theater.